How to use Higgsfield AI Video Generator. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Higgsfield AI Video Generator. Now, Higgsfield has an amazing AI video creator, which is very unique. It truly is something different than all the other AI video tools that I've seen out there because it is able to create such amazing effects and such different types of videos that you normally would not see. Things such as eyes in, sandstorm, and different and other types of effects. You can see they have certain categorizations such as camera controls as well as cache the pulse which can help you in identifying different trends. So let's get started with Hexfield. First off you're going to sign up and once you sign up you're going to choose a plan. Now there are three plans the basic, pro, and ultimate. I am subscribed to the basic plan which allows you to have access to over 150 credits every month. Now these 150 credits are pretty decent. It's going to cost you around 0 0.30 cents per five credits and it is going to allow you to use your videos commercially which is not something that all ai tools allow you to do then their pro version helps you in getting started with 600 credits for only 19 dollars every month now this is going to be your starting price uh your actual regular price is going to go to 45 dollars, but your second month is also going to be 35 percent off so you're only going to have to pay 29 dollars. and then the ultimate plan ranges between 39 to 93 dollars so with a 50 percent discount for your second month you would be paying $79 and then it's going to go up to $93 which gives you access to over 1,500 credits per month with commercial use and uh, three concurrent jobs at once four concurrent jobs as well as turbo models and access to starting and ending frames now let's jump back in to Higgsfield once we go back into Higgsfield we can get started with creating now on the top you will see three different options you will see image video and speed First, I'm going to show you guys how you can create images and then how you can convert those images into videos. So on the bottom, you will see the model. First off, you have Higgsfield Soul, which is ultra realistic. Then you have Flex Context Max, which can help you in editing with accuracy. And then you have the GPT image. I like to go with Higgsfield Soul. Then you're going to choose the orientation. I'm going to go with the 4x3 orientation or actually a 16x9. Then you will see the quality. So if you want basic quality or high quality, then you have prompt enhancement. Now, if you want it to be allowed to customize your prompt on its own, you can let it be customized, but I'm just going to proceed with a regular prompt. Starting off, I want to create a person or zoomed in shot of a person pouring wine into a wine glass. Now on the right, you can also see general. Now this allows you to edit and customize the visual styles. You have new Instagram aesthetics, camera presets, beauty, mood, surreal, graphic art, and you have a bunch of different visual styles that are super popular. Now if you leave it at none, it is able to just take your prompt and based upon whatever fits your prompt, it adapts to that style. Then on the right, you will even see the ability to add characters. So if you want to add your own AI character, you can do that, but I don't want that. And I'm just going to click on generate over here and it will create four images for me. Now, Higgsfield does have a processing time that can be longer, especially if you're using Higgsfield for free. You do get around uh, 200 credits when you sign up and those are free credits that you can use. And I do think that they are going to reset every month. So you can use those, but if you use those, then you're going to be in the queue for a really long time. So right now my images are in the queue. In a few minutes, they are going to be generated. But when you're using that particular model and you're using the free one, it just does take a really long time. And you guys can see they are already in progress and in queue. And then depending on the model you're choosing and the current amount of queued items within that model, your image might be created faster or quicker, or it might take slightly more time. So we're just going to wait a couple of seconds for this to be created. So right now, one of my images has been created and I can click on download and this is what the image looks like. It's very high quality. I do think it looks really nice. And now I can further proceed with creating a actual video out of this image. So now I'm going to go into create and then I'm going to go into video over here. Once I go into video, you guys can see I have the ability to choose a certain image style or emotion control style. And there are a bunch of different styles, but what I want is something really unique. So I want to add something that is really different within my wine video and i'm just gonna go into the cache the pulse effects or 
epic camera control we have basic camera control as well as effects so within effects i want to maybe add spills so i'm going to go ahead and search for spill over here and i'm just going to search for this under all and within these we can even search for something that is trending so we're just going to change and take a look at some of our other options arc right powder explosion car chasing as well as disintegration morph skin 360 orbit melting and then i want to go with melting and then i'm going to click on upload image and we can just select this from our clipboard or upload the image that we just created so i'm just going to go on ahead and use the image that we just created this wine image once I do that, I'm going to describe my prompt. So I'm not going to add any prompt. If you don't add any prompt, it just combines the two effects. But if you do add a prompt, it just makes it more accurate. The glass melts as the wine enters the glass. And then I'm going to turn on enhance. Then I'm going to choose the model. So I'm going to go with their standard model. And once I go with the standard model, I'm going to go on to the right and I can choose the duration. You can make a three second video or a five second video. Then you also have the steps and then just click on generate over here to generate your video. Now you can add a bunch of different effects. You can even combine multiple different effects within this field. So as you guys saw, I have added one melting effect, but if I click on mix on the top left, I would be able to mix multiple different effects together this just gives you a better and more interesting video that you can create especially because you can create slightly longer videos with five second clips so you can combine two different elements and make something that is completely unique you guys can see this is another example of one of the videos i have created this was my starting image and then we have flowers appear like so then over here we have a punching effect and now we're creating our melting effect and just like so, our video has been created. Let's take a look at what it looks like. So this is our video. We can download this. We can even rerun the same prompt. And you guys can see the glass is melting as the wine enters the glass. And this is a really amazing effect. Now, if I want to combine this with two different effects, I can click on mix over here and I can actually mix two different effects. So let's say as the glass is melting, I also want to add some epic camera controls and I want to go on ahead and orbit 360. Or maybe I want to go with something a bit more different. So I wanted to have an explosion in the background. So if I add building explosion and a melting effect together, then what is going to happen? So I'm going to rerun this with two different effects within my Higgs field video. And let's take a look at what it is going to create when I'm going to be adding two different effects together. And just like so, our new video has been created. So let's take a look at these two combined effects and what it has created. Now you guys can see on the right side the way that it has actually enhanced my prompt and it has made my prompt far more longer than I actually, you know, entered. Obviously, this is because I have turned on prompt enhancement. If you do not turn on prompt enhancement, then it sticks to your actual prompt. It sticks to whatever you have wanted to create. And that can just help you in building something that is slightly more uh, towards your actual idea or your ideation or the way that you're imagining your clips and just like that you can use the Hicksfield AI video creator it is so creative and so different than anything else that is on the market out there and it's definitely something that you should try I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you guys did find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries you guys can leave those in the comments down below I would love to know what you guys have to say and thanks for watching